What's up guys, this is Sean Heather and in this video we are going to do a gaming performance test of Techno Cayman 20 Premier, a smartphone by playing few of the most high and heavy graphics game on the highest possible graphics setting. We will also monitor the battery performance and whether we are going to face any hitting issue or not. But before we start, if you are new to this channel then do not forget to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get the notification for future uploads. These are the games we got today here on our Cayman 20 Premier 5G smartphone. The screen refresh rate is set to 120Hz. Right now the battery percentage is 71. CPU temperature is 35 degrees Celsius and the battery temperature is 33 degrees Celsius. So first of all let's start with Injustice 2. So the graphics quality is really nice. We are getting lots of details. Gameplay is very smooth as well. The touch screen sensitivity and response is also quite nice. As you can see 3D graphics rendering is also quite impressive. So everything was nice and smooth while playing Injustice 2 on Camel 20 Premier 5G smartphone. No frame drops, no lagging and the gameplay was very smooth with lots of details. If you have a look on the battery status now, CPU is at 39 degrees Celsius and the same goes with battery temperature as well and the battery percentage moved to 69. CPU temperature is 41 degrees Celsius now. So let's close Injustice 2 and now it's time to play the next game and that's Asphalt 9. So here in the game setting of Asphalt 9 you can see we have selected the high graphics quality and the 60 FPS mode is enabled as well. So the gameplay will be smoother but let's play it and let's see how good it's going to be. So we are getting good amount of details in Asphalt 9 as well. The graphics quality is looking pretty solid and at 60 FPS gameplay is pretty smooth as well. And here we go. So there was no frame drop, no lagging, everything was nice and smooth while playing Sport 9 on Techno Camel 20 Premier 5G smartphone. So let's go back from here. Let's have a look on the battery status. So the CPU temperature is now 42 degrees Celsius and battery is at 41 degrees Celsius. I can feel slight warmth here on the back panel in this part. 
not too hot but just a warm sensation now it's time to play the next game and that's going to be the call of duty mobile so here in the graphics setting of call of duty mobile you can see by default high graphics quality is selected along with max frame rate if i go to medium or low then still max is the maximum possible fps available if i go to the very high graphics quality then i can still get the max so this is the maximum possible graphics setting you can see 90 fps mode is not getting enabled so maximum fps we will get is less than 90 on call of duty mobile so let's play the game and let's see how good it's going to be if you go down here you can see i have turned on the other higher graphics quality setting like the real-time shadowing anti-aliasing depth of field ragdoll etc as well so let's play the game and let's see how good the performance of Call of Duty Mobile is going to be on Techno Camera 20 Pro 5G smartphone. So you can see that the graphics quality is great there is no frame drop no lacking everything is nice and super smooth if you have a look on the gun here the reflection of the light from its body the shadowing effect and the details we are getting is just very impressive
So everything is nice and smooth, great gameplay, no frame drops, no lagging. The graphics quality is great here as well. So everything was nice and super smooth while playing Call of Duty Mobile on Techno Cameron 20 Premier 5G. No frame drops, no lagging, graphics quality was brilliant even though we were playing it on the highest possible graphics setting on every aspect. Now if you go back from here, let's have a look on the battery status. So the CPU temperature is 45 degrees Celsius and battery is at 44 degrees Celsius. And now I can feel even more warmth now even at the frame as well it is a bit warm the back panel is also slightly warmer compared to what it was last time and this time i can feel that the frame was a bit warm as well now it's getting colder once i close the game so it's getting slightly hot for sure and now it's time to play the last game for today and that's pubg mobile here in the graphics setting of PUBG Mobile, you can see HD is selected for graphics and high for the frame rate. I can select HDR. Ultra HD is not available. I can select Ultra Frame Rate with HDR. Graphics quality, if I go to Smooth, then Extreme Frame Rate is getting enabled as well. So the maximum possible graphics setting combo is Smooth with Extreme and SDR with Ultra. So this is the graphics quality on which I'm going to play the game. And once again, and once again, I'm turning on the anti-aliasing. 2X is available, 4X is not available right now. So let's play the game now and let's see how good it's going to be. So the graphics quality is looking good enough as you can see. The shadowing effect, the reflection of the light from the costume, the shoulder pad of the character when I'm changing the camera angle, it's pretty good. The graphics quality is good as well. If you have a look on the crown, you can see how much detail we are getting. Especially if you have a look on these rocks, they are not so great, but good enough to get the feel and enjoy the game. So I'm not so good when it comes to PUBG Mobile. And I just want to give you an idea about the gaming capability of the device, so you will have to bear with me a bit. So once again, you can see how much detail we are getting if you have a look on the ground and all the crafts, the leaves of the trees.
so as you can see not much action is happening right now where i am so i'm just gonna leave it here because if you are a pubg player you should be getting the idea about the gaming capability of the device and as you can see it's pretty nice there is no frame drop or lagging is happening everything is nice and smooth the graphics quality is good enough and the frame rate is nice as well there is no fluctuation or anything it's pretty good so let's go back from here let's have a look on the battery status so cpu temperature is 43 degrees celsius battery is at 42 degrees celsius and the device is pretty much at the same warmth as it was after call of Duty mobile slightly lower to be honest but still slight warmth sensation that you can feel here talking about the battery life it moved to 61 percent now so after playing all of these games for like 40 to 45 minutes that's the duration of this video recording the battery percentage reduced from 71 to 61 and considering the fact that we were playing all of these games on the highest possible graphic setting it is quite acceptable as well if not great so if you are a gamer you will be happy with the performance of Tecmo Cayman 20 premier 5G smartphone especially considering its pricing and the hardware it comes with so that's all for now friends thanks for watching this video if you found it useful then give it a thumbs up share it with your friends subscribe the channel and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notification for future uploads and i will see you guys next time in an another video have a nice day